yeah, I think sitting here and after making a film and about a, a woman's perspective, two straight white men are the foremost authority on <laughs> on <laughs> on this. No, um, really, for me, it was just trying to. I never tried to tackle it from a woman's perspective. I tried to tackle it from how anybody would feel in that situation. I, I, I think guys have been in that situation as well. And that's what I think Haley trusted me because I wasn't going in being like, I'm going to try and tackle this in an overly or too sensitive way. She wanted it to be raw. She wanted it to feel empowering. So I tried to just put myself in those situations where I've not felt good enough or I've felt crap about myself and everything else. So Haley was, Haley kind of took that and was like, okay, that you're not going to try and, you know, pussyfoot around me or the, the, the whole subject. And uh, I, I really just tried to channel what Haley had written and what she wanted to say. Um, it was more, I, I just, yeah, I just tried to channel her, her ideas and just kind of, help and guide her for what she wanted to, to say. Haley always, she wrote it and she was obviously quite adamant that she, this, this for her was kind of a, uh, an exploration of herself and an exploration of her, uh, her abilities as an actress. Uh, which is why she obviously wanted to play both parts, um, which was great for us. Cause we were like, yeah, that's, that's really easy for you to do both <laughs> both things. Um, but we got a great double and uh, overall we only ended up actually shooting. I think there's only three three proper VFX shots. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe four. There's maybe, no, well, one's a close. So yeah, three actual VFX shots. Oh, okay. um, which is, yeah, which was kind of a quite a feat to do when it was a lot of doubles and shooting over shoulders and stuff. And our amazing editor, Aideen, who just managed to make it feel completely and utterly seamless. Um, and amazing uh, DOP, Angela, who, who did the same thing. She just yeah, really she kind of... Really well. She did really well to build the shot list to try and minimise, obviously with short films, small budgets, so that kind of thing, trying to build the shoot so it's effective without... Because there's nothing worse than dodgy VFX it really can take <laughs> yeah. you out of a story so we, we more, isn't yeah that um that mindset was in from from the dot which um, yeah which there's, there's you know there's definitely like we, we were doing the VFX on a, on a budget as well but we managed to get some really good people and I think we just about managed to get away with it um but yeah we tried to do as much you know Angela and I had conversations and and I had them with Haley as well it's like we wanted to do as much in camera as we possibly could, um, just because I think it was more fun. Um, and yeah, we again, just, just about managed to pull it off, I think. Fran built the entire bathroom. So as soon as we go into the bathroom, that's an entire set, uh, which we built in a really flimsy, well, not flimsy, Lydia, not flimsy, uh, but it, it was a tin roof barn that um, yeah, Fran had to put together and worked an entire 36 hours without sleep, something like that. Pretty much, yeah. Um, where we turned up, we'd shot um, at... Where was it? Tonight, Josephine. Tonight, Josephine, during the day, um, which has a whole load of anecdotes in itself where I ended up getting my overnight bag... <laughs> Stolen from the camera truck uh, whilst we were unloading. Luckily, it was only that and not any of the camera gear. So I was already flustered before we'd even started shooting because I had no clothes um, for the whole of the weekend that we were going away to shoot. Uh, luckily, Lydia's family who put us up and uh, we allowed us to build the set at their place um, kindly went out to Tesco and bought me some <laughs> underwear and things for the weekend. <laughs> Um, but no, they were amazing, and and Fran and uh, James had been at uh, the house for about a week, putting the set together, and we turned up, and Fran's busy painting and stuff, and at about two o'clock in the morning, it was about two o'clock yeah. in the morning, wasn't it? Yeah, 
we we went in to check on Brian and James, and uh, me and the DOP were like, oh, we've got some bad news. That that wall needs to be over there, and that wall needs to be over there. <laughs> and we just spent. Uh, I think there was only what was it? You, me, James. There's about and four of us. It's a, yeah. yeah, which has a float, me, float a couple yeah. of walls. And the thing is, it's not just for wood. Like it's no, fully it's, it's fully plumbed. Um, the VFX shots with the mirrors. Are, you know, it's designed and built so that you can shoot the reverse with yeah. no VFX. So it's it's not just moving yeah, a couple of partitions. That, it's um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was that was a lot of. So that shot is all. Uh, so we've got the double with the hands around the um, around the camera, and as we tilt up. There is no mirror there for that bit. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, Haley on the other side. But then obviously we had to do it twice because we had to do it with Haley and Haley again, but as ego. Um, and then the rest of the time was having the mirrors, but like putting tape behind to, to tilt all the mirrors in whatever direction we possibly could, so that we didn't see the camera. 